if you look at the synagogues on Friday evening, on Saturday, they're empty, relatively speaking. Why are they empty? People are looking for spirituality, yet the synagogues are empty. Why? There's a void, we don't attract them. Ze horen zichtbaar niet thuis op het Leidseplein. Rabijn Raalbach en zijn vrouw Fanny. Raalbach is een rabijn in New York, psycholoog en zakenman. En sinds 2005 ook opperrabijn in Amsterdam. You have to understand, after all these ages of being persecuted, we have to stick together. Arjen Raalbach, met de natuurlijke vanzelfsprekendheid, lijkt zijn gezag te worden aanvaard door zijn Nederlandse collega's van de orthodox Joodse gemeente van Amsterdam. This past year there were only four chuppahs, four weddings, 50 circumcisions in the past year, to, to, to 2009, in, in the whole of Holland. In 20 years there won't be a Jewish community, there'll be individual Jews. So we have to do something about it. Raalbach heeft zich de afgelopen jaren intensief ingezet om een eeuwenoude Joodse richtlijn in ere te herstellen. No, 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 stop, cats. Listen, you have to hold the strings one more. No, what are you doing? It's not, you're many mixed up. It's, you hold, look, you're not holding one up. Een ritueel dat als doel heeft om de stad tot een denkbeeldige, veilige binnenwereld te verkleinen. En in dat gebied mogen Joden op Shabbat hun persoonlijke bezittingen meedragen. De opperrabijn wil de Amsterdamse gemeenschap een gevoel van verbondenheid geven. Trots op hun afkomst, hun geloof, hun rijke culturele tradities. En in verband met dat drukke verkeer krijgt hij daarvoor assistentie van de Amsterdamse politie. De snelweg wordt kort afgesloten. Stop, 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 stop. Dat is minder dan 30 centimeter. Close up, jongens, close up. Are you happy? Yes. That's it. Ja. Kom maar. Sluiten. Draaien. This is my community. This is what you call middle class. Doctors, lawyers, businessmen, middle class American Jewish families. Normally in America, most people, Jews like to live amongst Jews, Irish amongst Irish, Italians amongst Italians, blacks amongst blacks. That's the American way. It's a melting pot, yet separate but equal. And different, Each one respects the other, tolerates the other, we work together. It's called a rainbow coalition. Now she's quiet. Yeah. And now you're quiet. When I come around, she's quiet. It's no knows, joke. Literally, is... she's been screaming all day. I'm not kidding. I'm not even making it up. We don't assimilate. Assimilation, but in Holland it's called integration, you know, is a, a, for American Jew anathema. We want to integrate into society, be part of society, with reference to business and every other thing, but with reference to our identity, That's one of the things in America you retain, you can retain your Jewish identity if you want. When you come back after a day's work and you're in your own community and you have your strong identity and you feel I'm a Jew and I'm proud of being a Jew and we sustain ourselves and we help one, one another. And that gives us an enormous sense of, of, of accomplishment and we're able then to help Israel. Een willekeurige ochtend in het gemeenschapsgebouw waar Arjen Raalbach de geestelijk leider is. In tegenstelling tot Amsterdam verschijnen hier iedere Shabbat met gemak zo'n 1500 gelovigen. Er zijn vier verschillende ruimtes waarin afzonderlijke diensten worden gehouden. Hier is het orthodox community. Het is een puur orthodox community. Amsterdam is an Einheitsgemeinde, which means it includes everybody, inclusive from ultra-Orthodox till non-observant. 
Here they appreciate me more for my halachic expertise, for my learning, for my ability to not only answer halachic questions, but to find solutions. And that's where I'm known all, all over America. People here are much more involved in the general community than Amsterdam. Amsterdam, Jews are not so politicized, okay? They vote who they vote for, I'm not saying they go, but they're not in politics. They're not really part of it, you understand? They're a small segment and they you know, don't want to make too many waves. In America, Jews make waves. I'll say it, I'll say it openly. And there, there's a, you know, there's a Jewish lobby. And in every aspect, especially in a place like, like New York City, they, they're involved in the political life. And many people say too much involved, not in New York City, all over, all over America. But based on our numbers, we're less than 2% of the population. And politically, we have carry much, much more clout because of, of, of what we do and who we are. And that, that is a big difference. It sometimes leads to anti-Semitism. People might misinterpret it. They might think Jews are only for themselves, but it's not true. We build coalitions, you want to help other people. We don't discriminate. But people seem to think, because Jews, you have to understand after all these ages of being persecuted, we have to stick together. And that's why Jews in, uh, abroad support Israel so much, because we feel we're one. Fanny Raubach komt oorspronkelijk uit Antwerpen. Ze heeft haar man veel verteld over het wel en wee van het Europese Jodendom. I have a few messages to give you, so come upstairs, please, okay? okay. I saw another book from... Oh, what, what? I want to make sure you have a few messages. Okay. Very important. This guy called up. Dat al zijn kinderen orthodox Joods getrouwd zijn, zal niemand verbazen. Opper Rabbi Rabach moet daarmee wel een erg tevreden vader zijn. Het is heel belangrijk. Besides the halachic prohibitions that one has to marry only a Jew, there's also psychological problems. When you marry someone who's similar to you, that's, uh, that's, uh, that only makes the marriage easier. But it's much, much more than that. If you want to bring up your children in a certain, in a certain manner, if you want to give over your Judaism in a certain ma manner, so if you are orthodox or observant, Your partner should also be observant. If not, it creates a great psychological uh, trauma in, in, in the children. You can't have one being observant and one being not observant. It puts the children, makes marriage even worse. Uh, then, it's, then children are many times brought up in, a, in a, not knowing where they belong. Like cold. 